They haven't got smelly vision, folks. Here's his hotel, the Dostchester. It's very popular with film stars, especially the beardies. Yeah, and a lot of big bugs live here, but and some little ones as well. This is the millionaire's suite, but it's none too sweet. You can bet your life. And here's a regular visitor, Lord Loverduck. He's dead, but he won't lie down. So he's got to drink all day to keep his kidney floating. He sleeps sitting up, because if he laid down, he'd spill some of his supper. Now leave him alone, Charlie. He's only one of the ruins Cromwell knocked about a bit. Go on, have a lie down. It'll do you good, Charles. Good night. Ha, ha, ha. Public enemy number one is abroad again. The police are after him, but they're too busy pinching motorists to catch him. No, it's no use, Al. You won't get a date with the NBG. They've got all the crooners they want. He's going to give you an audition, is he? What? He wants you to pinch the potash patent. The dirty old broadcaster. <coughs> Hello, another stab at the seat of justice. The gangster's going to get that patent, but all the cops are on the run. Calling all cops, calling all cops, calling all cops. A robbery has been arranged at the professor's house. Come on, boys. Get going. If you can get there first, you can do all the robbery required. The above have now arrived. Fine body of men, aren't they? The best that money can buy. Let them loose in a house and they'll pinch anything. They've all served their time in the salvage corps. They've not only served time, they've done time. Potash is still playing with his pots. He's trying to invent a gadget for catching cockroaches and sewing buttons on flies. He's so wrapped up in his subject, he doesn't know his house is full of the flying squads. Come on, boys, make yourselves at home. Whenever you come back, it's waiting. They haven't changed it since you were here five years ago. It's still got the permanent wave in the mattress. Yes, he's still here too. Still singing the same old song, the fireman's farewell to his holes. You've forgotten something, Al. You've gone to bed without saying your prayers. Too long to get dressed in the morning. You'll have a nice crease in your pants and in your coat as well. What? The guests seem to like Lord Loverduck's lullaby. They have presented him with a bouquet of hobnail boots. But Charlie's going to go one better. He's going to throw a party. Yes, and it's a bottle party for his Lordship's benefit. Before he makes the presentation, he prepares the stage. He's determined to conclude the concert with a smashing success, including that famous song, Just Before the Bottle Mother. This is going to be a great affair, folks. Now go easy with him, Charles. Get set, get ready. He's done it. Consider yourself launched. It's a knockout. The song is over, but the malady lingers on. Good work, Charlie. Very good work and good night. Sleep tight and wake up sober. Not this side, please. You know who this is, don't you, folks? It's Sam Sam, the dirty old man. Look at his hat. It's got a sliding roof. He's been going round all the hotel dustbins collecting souvenirs. He ought to get a few choice specimens here in this million dollar palace. Nah, 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 uh, uh, don't wake his lordship. The last bottle he had went to his head. Look out, Sam. Charlie's sleeping with one eye open. He's seen you knock off that watch, so he's not going to take any risks. No, and you're not taking anything at all. That's right, Charlie. Don't cast a clout till Sam gets out. I use your nut. That's the idea. Under the mattress goes his coat. If he had a watch, he'd swallow it just to pass the time away. But as he hasn't got one, he's put his one and only dollar in his mouth. It ought to be safe there. Yeah, unless he sleeps with his mouth open. Good night, child. Sleep well. Now Sam's going to count the spoils, unless someone wakes up and spoils the count. Careful now, Charlie. He's going to look into your resources. He wants to take down your particulars. What time does this balloon go up? Sam doesn't know whether you're a camel or the hunchback of Notre Dame. Ha, 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 ha. At last he's unveiled the monument. And he doesn't like the look of it a bit. If Sam wants to add to his collection of performing fleas, he's in the right spot. <laughs>